which people think that it's like sketchy or shady or, or people are breaking laws to air this stuff. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I want to talk about the legalities of infield footage. Okay, is it okay to record someone in public without their consent? And what are the various considerations? Now as a disclaimer, I'm not a legal professional. This is not meant to constitute legal advice. However, this is what I have discovered from consulting with the privacy attorney that I hired to vet all my infield footage. Okay, so I'll share those different considerations with you in this video. But before we continue, if you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below, new videos every single day, press the notification bell. And this channel offers straightforward, no bullshit, practical dating advice in an easy to assimilate manner, okay? Also, if you are struggling in the game, which I know a lot of you are, and you want to massively skyrocket your results, okay, and potentially sleep with one to, one to two new girls per week, and put one new rotation girl on per week, meaning that in the course of an eight week program, you could potentially have a six to eight girl rotation and have slept with eight to 16 new girls. Okay, that's a, a potential outcome uh, that a lot of guys are getting. So if you have interest in learning more about that, jump on a free 30 minute call, uh, link in the description, and you will speak to me or someone from my team about how we can get you very, very good, very, very fast. Okay, so the first thing of consideration is the notion of wiretapping laws. Okay, so different states in the United States have one party consent or two party consent wiretapping laws. In the case of one party consent, you, the person recording, can be the one party. Okay, so you don't need the other person's consent to record in a public situation. Okay, however, the big caveat is that there, there needs to be no reasonable expectation of privacy. Okay, so when you're recording like a daytime pickup, other people could overhear. When you're recording a, a pickup in a nightclub, other people could also overhear. Okay, examples where they could not overhear is in a place such as your apartment or such as in a taxi. Okay, so we actually cut all the footage right when we got to the door of the apartment and also we cut all the taxi footage. Okay, or if the girl was like whispering or, or saying something that was intended only for you to hear, we didn't air those things as well. Okay, then to make sure you're not on the hook for civil damages, you need to blur the girl's face. Okay, and you need to bleep out identifying audio information. That way the person is not recognizable. And also when they're talking about themselves, there's no way to find out their name or, or where they work or where they live or anything like this, okay? So as long as you are filming in a one party consent state in public without any reasonable expectation of privacy, then you should be good to go, okay? But as I said in the beginning, this is not legal official legal advice and you still should consult with an attorney. I had a very high-end privacy attorney go through all of my infield footage and we cut out anything that was in the gray area, okay? So like I said, as, as a guideline, just find out if it's one or two party consent states and then don't put anything public that's revealing someone's identity, okay? This goes without saying, but it's obviously illegal to record sex acts. So people are also like asking all the time, oh, you should show the footage of closing this girl or you should show what happens after you go back to the apartment. Unfortunately, we cannot show that stuff, okay? I mean, we can't even record it. So, and I'm very honest, I'll tell guys on my infield footage, okay, this girl didn't convert, this is what happened. Or this girl, I tried to set up a date, it didn't work out, et cetera, et cetera. Whereas most of the other coaches will say, oh yeah, every single girl I got home closed, okay? I know for a fact that a lot of people, a lot of coaches will use this to their advantage, okay? They'll pull lots of girls that aren't down. For instance, Chris Parker, who is a very low level, kind of no name coach, he filmed 12 different pulls, which was just taking the girl home from the club, but he had a girlfriend at that time during the recording of that footage, and he didn't close any of those 12 girls. Okay, so but, that, but that's what he put into his product that he ripped off from me. And you know, so, and, and the audience doesn't know any better. So I hope that clears up some of the confusion around infield footage. People think that it's like sketchy or shady or, or people are breaking laws to air this stuff. Okay, you can do it in a legal way where things are on the up and up just by simply adhering to these wiretapping laws. Okay, the laws on, on video recording are much less strict than the audio. And with the video recording, there also needs to be no expectation of privacy, okay? No reasonable expectation of privacy, which there is not when you're recording a day game or a night game interaction, or even a date interaction, because people could overhear from, from a nearby table, okay? So I hope that was helpful for you. 
If you want to learn my entire system from A to Z, please jump on a free 30 minute call with me personally and I'll walk you through exactly how I can help you and take you from whatever level you're at to a very advanced level very quickly, okay? Also, if you want to see a whole bunch more of my footage, the infield footage, okay, I have 70 infields in Occam's Razor. I have a whole bunch in the Platinum Dating System. Okay, where I go through night game interactions from start to finish, day game interactions from start to finish, dates, instant dates, etc. Um, make sure you check out those products and jump on a call. Those links are in the description. Also, if you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout stuff.